So we've had the pleasure this morning of meeting the phenomenal journalist Shantini Naidu behind the brilliant book Woman in Solitary, um, uh, describing a unique story of seven women who have really helped lay the foundation um, through the struggle against apartheid for our modern democracy. But we're going to shift lanes and we're going to join Jamie and Shantini now for some yoga. You are still coming to us live. Um, I'm all the way in Johannesburg with author and journalist Shantani Naidu with her book, uh, Women in Solitary. And we are so grateful to be able to wake up with Shantani this morning. She's going to be taking us through her morning routine of some yoga. Shantani, I've been able to see you juggle it all this morning, taking the kids out for school, then, of course, being an author and a journalist. Why is yoga so important for you? Um, although I've been really uh, not practicing properly during the lockdown, um, I find uh, the morning yoga and um, some meditation really helps with the mental fortitude to try and get through the day. It actually takes a little time, but it, it helps you to sustain your energy throughout the day. Well, you've prepared a nice little flow session for us. I'm very excited to try yoga. It's just been about a month that I started yoga for the very first time. You're the pro, so I'm going to let you and Cynthia lead this. Okay. Great, let's come to the center of the mat. Everyone yes, stand in mountain pose, feet together, pull in your abdominal muscles, tuck in your gluteus muscles, lifting up from your chest, roll your shoulders down. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Now place your hands in front of your heart center, palm to palm, inhale. And on an exhalation, take your hands wide and up, all the way looking up at the sky, inhale. On an exhalation, bring your palms down in front of your nose, up to your heart center. Lean forward to the halfway mark. Now take your hands down and place it in front of your feet as if you're cupping an orange. Fingers wide. Take a deep breath in. On an exhalation, walk your hands to either side of your feet. Take your head down, bending your elbows. Uttan Asana, half forward fold. Inhale. On an exhalation, bend your knees, resting your abdomen on your thighs. Step back with your right hand, your right foot. Lift up your chest. Smile. Happy faces <laughs> up. Take your hands up all the way up. Low warrior lunge. Inhale. And exhale. As women, we're always juggling, so you are a warrior as a woman, breathing. And on an exhalation, lifting up slightly, turn your body facing forward, swiveling on your right foot into warrior two. Take your gaze over your left hand. Hold the pose. Do not forget to breathe. Breathe in and breathe out. And now slowly turn your body facing forward, Take the palms of your hands down on either side of your left foot. Step back with your left foot into plank. Inhale. On an exhalation, bending your elbows close to your sides, come down into Chaturanga Dandasana, four-limbed star. Now take your abdomen muscles to the floor, flatten your feet, lift up your chest. Bhujanga Asana, Cobra Pose. Inhale. On an exhalation, extending those forearms, lifting knees and thighs off the ground. Udva Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog. This strengthens your forearms, holding, lift, bending your toes, lifting your buttocks into the air. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. This is excellent for lower back problems. Inhale. And on an exhalation, look at the space between your hands, step forward with your right foot now bring your left foot to join keep your fingertips in front of your toes inhale and exhale now place your hands onto your shins extending forward lengthening your spine inhale on an exhalation bring your hands palm to palm in front of your heart center and slowly come up well done we're going for the second round inhale on an exhalation, take your hands wide and take it up all the way. Inhale. On an exhalation, bring your palms in front of your heart center. Lean forward, lengthening into your spine to the halfway mark. Now take your fingertips down in front of your toes. I think we are definitely going to continue this yoga flow session. And I think we worked out quite a sweat and quite the appetite. In a moment, we're going to be making a chickpea omelet. You want to stay tuned for that. Uh, more of this on your feel-good breakfast show. Let's go down, ladies. Step back with your left leg. Place your hands firmly on either 